Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Got a pretty good solar day going on here today, as you can see. A few clouds floating by, but all the panels are catching pretty good sun. Yeah, it's really coming out now. It was a little dark and rainy earlier this morning. Right now, coming into some full sunshine. Beautiful day. Let's go into the shop and see what we've got today. Pretty excited to show you guys. So what we're going to look at today is a new product by Time USB who sent this battery out for a review. And this is their 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate Pro series battery. This is a nice looking battery. And besides being 200 amp hours, this actually has 230 amp hours of available power, which is quite a bit different than your standard 12 volt 200 amp hour battery. Fully 30 amp hours more available power that comes in at 2,944 watt hours of power. Considerably bigger, and you can tell when you go to pick one of these up that it's got some extra weight to it. 66 pounds, about 16 pounds heavier than any other battery of this size. And that's because of the extra amp hours packed into these cells. So, as is common with a lot of batteries like this, it's got the terminal thread protectors in there. Always nice to see those. This thing arrived in pristine condition. Cannot find a single blemish on it for all of its traveling out here. Just perfect condition. It has these very nice handles, both sides. And you're going to need to use both of those handles to lift this thing up at 66 pounds. That extra 16 pounds is an extra 30 amps of power. 30 amp hours, rather. So this battery currently is listed on their uh, main website for $599. Uh, that's a great deal for this much power, and I'm going to be able to get you a $20 uh, discount off there as well. And you'll see the code below in the description of the video. It came with uh, a product manual, a quick reference guide for beginners, which is actually pretty good. Goes over a few of the basic things that some people might not know at all, a front and back of just some very, very basic but useful information on the quick reference guide. And then there's a lot of information in the product manual which you would want to go through cover to cover. Just gives you a lot of different things you need to know about. For those of you that don't know about how to install a lithium iron phosphate battery. And we'll go over a few of those as well as some specifications in a minute. And then it also came with uh, two sets of the M8 terminal bolts and one set of the terminal covers, which is always nice to see. I always like that there's an extra set. Just in case you lose one, you can still continue to hook your system up. And that happens occasionally. So extra sets, just a nice little added touch for sure. And what one thing I want to say at the beginning of this video is please stay tuned because there is some information coming upon the cells that are being used in this particular battery and to date it's the best explanation I have ever received from a manufacturer on the type of cells that they're using and I think it'll be of great importance and you will appreciate the information as much as I did receiving it. So that will be coming up a little further into the video and now we'll go over a few of the specs. So this more in-depth 
product manual, which is 24 pages in length, is packed full of just tons of great information. Everything is easy to understand. There are fantastic graphics. Everything from very simply how to pull out the terminal thread protectors all the way to hooking up your battery, how to charge it, what the charging parameters are. Nominal capacity, of course, 200 amp hours, but we know that it is actually 230 amp hours available power. It's got a 100 amp BMS board on it, which gives you a max continuous charge of 100 amps. A max discharge current of 280 amps for five, for five seconds. And a max continuous load power of 1280 watts. So, all great information, especially for people that are not real familiar with these type of batteries. But just every page packed full of great information. One of the things I really... Uh, like about this is that it gives you the charging parameters which a lot of uh, manufacturers leave out and is probably the most common question asked when people buy these and they're starting to program their charge controllers is what do I set my charging parameters for so this has all of that in there gives you a state of charge it's different than what we're used to with lead acid, of course. But here it is. Gives you a state of charge. What is 13.1, which is about what this battery was shipped out at. Came in just shy of 13.2 volts. I'll show you that on the multimeter in just a minute. And that's just common. How to connect your batteries. Very, very useful. And I'm not going to go through all of it, but I'm just going to give you... A, a cursory look of all the various graphics very easily understood yeah 20 24 full pages and right here we've got the multimeter hooked up to this this battery has been resting for days and I've been letting it sit here for days settle into the ambient temperature here and before hooking it up and doing any charging and discharging, I always like to let them rest for a few days. 13.18, that's exactly what it read at when it arrived. It's holding that charge perfectly. And as they state, batteries are sent between 30 and 50% full. And this is right in line with that. They don't send these fully charged, as a lot of you know and a lot of you may not know. And that's for safety and shipping. So this is just exactly what you'd want to see, something along these lines, and there it is on the meter. So this is the part of the video where I really want you guys to uh, hear what the company says about these batteries. And it's very important, and I hope you'll get out of it what I did. So they say with a responsibility attitude towards society and their customers, they are very strict in choosing the source of the battery cells. Also, they test 100% of the cells and modules to ensure safety, reliability before the products are put on the market. In addition, they offer a five-year warranty on this battery and a 30-day return policy on all of their products. And to expand upon that, which I thought was a, a great statement from them. I asked them several questions specifically to be answered for this video, which they responded in great detail, and I think you'll appreciate hearing that. So I asked, where are the cells from? And the lithium iron phosphate cells used by Time USB in this particular model come uh, these cells were assembled in the battery packs on EV buses and were used for a period of time before being removed from the buses. They are cattle cells, that is C-A-T-L, and cattle is the leading power battery manufacturers in China 
and also ranks first in the global power battery industry. Their power batteries are widely used in the products of Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Nissan, Toyota, and other well-known companies. <clears throat> These cells are designed to last about 4,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge and they have undergone about 1,000 to 1,500 cycles on the buses they were previously installed in. The remaining life is expected to be 2,500 to 3,000 cycles and they promise that the actual cycle life of the 12 volt 200 amp hour pro battery pack is greater than 2,000 times at 100% depth of discharge. That's incredible. I like that to hear that. So they guarantee 2,000, at least 2,000 cycles on these batteries that have been previously used and they're being able to use them again and that's why they can offer this at a discount price because they are used cells. So even if you were putting them in, in a system where you were going to have a depth of a discharge of 100%, you're still going to get thousands of cycles. Now, if you only went to 50% depth of discharge, you could probably double that cycle life. So again, you're getting into years and years of use, even at this. But they are giving you the discount because they're used. And then on the next question here, they... Why do we think it's a good fit after being used for 1,000 to 1,500 cycles? The battery cell is a rigorous vapor grade product designed and produced by cattle with better dust and humidity control and reliable quality. It uses 100% to 80% state of health in EV bus and the remaining 80% state of health will be used in energy storage application. After the battery cell is used in the bus, it is equivalent to a suffi sufficient aging test in the 100% to 80% state of health stage so that the battery cell materials are stable in the remaining 80% state of health, giving higher safety and reliability. Great explanations. And on to the next question that I had posed on the uh, reliability of these cells. They make 100% quality and safety inspection of every battery cell before they put it in here. Charge and discharge. Three points, positive pole, negative pole, large surface. It has to be normal. Internal structure and material of the cell, which includes structural safety, electrolyte color, and the residual amount, pole core, positive and negative plates, diaphragm, they must be normal as well before they put them in the battery. The appearance, they test the visual inspection for no leakage, no obvious pits, and that has to pass a 100% full test. Self-discharge test is 25% state of charge. That's a full test at, uh, how does it read? 25% state of charge minus 5 to minus 3 millivolts, 7D, 4.5 digital multimeter. So a lot of this is getting very technical for my understanding, but it has to pass their stringent tests 100% before they drop it in these batteries. And the complete charge discharge curve, original data of capacity grading, 100% full test on that as well. And continuing on, on the other tests, they do a short circuit test. They do an overcharge test. They do an over discharge test. They do what's called a squeeze test. And well, the squeeze test was new for me. I don't know about that. And it says when the cell is fully charged without BMS, the cell is squeezed perpendicular to the direction of the pole plate at a speed of five plus one millimeter slash s. I don't particularly understand that, but it's another test that they make sure that they complete. The radius of the squeeze plate is 75 millimeters and the length is greater than the battery size. And then falling after the battery cell single 
is fully charged without BMS, freely drop the cell with the positive and negative terminals on the cell facing down from a height of 1.5 to the concrete floor. And they must not leak, catch fire, or explode. So, needless to say, uh, this was an incredibly in-depth explanation of the testing going involved to these cells. And they're backing it up with a five-year guarantee and a 30-day, uh, or a five-year warranty and a 30-day return policy. So, this is a great entry-level battery for those of you that want to save some money. They are offering this at quite a discount, 230 amp hours of usable power. You can rest assured that this battery is uh, backed by the manufacturer and that every single cell and component has been thoroughly tested. That, to me, spoke volumes of, of the company's uh, integrity. That just means a lot. Rather than not offering up that information, I simply asked a few of these questions. They immediately responded with details that I don't even fully understand on some of them. Most of them I do. And some of those you guys will know more about that terminology than I do. But yeah, nice looking battery, very well tested and guaranteed. We're getting ready to drop this in, put a charge on it, and then we're going to start discharging it. And I will keep following up on this battery and let you know. One other thing that I wanted to say is I was not familiar with this battery at all in the past, but I have had several comments over the past year or so of people coming in and leaving comments on the channel that this is the battery they're using or a different size of a time USB. And they've been very happy and getting great results with it. So that's what I know. And that's what I want to share with you guys. So as you guys know, I will be dropping that into a standalone system. And I'm going to charge it up. And I'm going to discharge it and put it through some tests and show you guys what it looks like in all of those tests. I like to follow up on these products and thanks for bearing with me on a, a lot of the detail but I thought it was really really important to share that with you guys. I would appreciate it hearing it. Give you some more thoughts about jumping into the lithium iron phosphate energy for whatever you need it for. RVs, vans, off-grid, camping. It's going to work for all those purposes. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Aloha.